Hey our friends, today we're gonna draw a realistic lion. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you're gonna follow along with me. You got a marker and some paper. Now if I ever go too fast because it's just me in the studio today, remember you can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish a step. Now this lesson might be best for the older artists, but if the younger ones are still up for the challenge, I think it's great if you wanna follow along too. All right, let's get started. Now we're gonna draw the lion's face and we're gonna take up a lot of the paper. And we're also gonna draw him staring right at us with his huge mane and his teeth showing. We're first gonna draw his eyes right in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw his eyebrows kind of angry. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a check mark. And then we're gonna draw another check mark on the other side. Now it's okay if both sides don't look exactly the same. And it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Okay, now we're gonna draw another line, the top of his eye coming out on each side. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of his eye coming down. It's kind of a U shape. We're gonna do that same shape over here on this side. Cool, he's already starting to look awesome. Now we're gonna draw his pupils inside of his eyes. We're gonna draw a big circle and we only wanna draw part of it so that it looks like his eyebrow is overlapping on top of the pupil. And we're gonna draw that same shape over here and we want him to look the same size. Now inside of here, we're gonna draw another smaller circle for the light reflecting in his eyes. He looks like his eyes are sticking out to the side. <laughs> So let's color in his pupil, but leave that smaller circle white. Next, we're going to draw his nose. Right here in between his eyes, just below him, we're going to draw the top of his nose. And we're going to draw this, looks like a smile, just like that. And then we're going to draw the bottom of his nose coming down to the U shape and back up. Okay, now let's draw his nostrils. On each side, I'm going to draw a rainbow line or an upside down U and then we can color that in. Then let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start by drawing a line that comes down like this and it starts curving right at the end, starts curving the other direction and we're gonna do that same line over here. Okay, now we're gonna draw his cheeks. So we'll draw a curve that comes back around and almost connects to his nose and we're gonna repeat that same Step on the right side. Cool, all right, now let's draw the little dots for his whiskers on his cheeks. So I'm gonna draw three lines, three dots coming up. I'll draw three more dots right below that one. I'm gonna add another dot right there. And then we can draw one more line of dots underneath. Okay, now let's repeat that over here. On his right cheek, draw little texture for his whiskers. All right, now let's draw the wrinkles on his nose because he's got his mouth open and he's growling. We're gonna draw a curve that comes into his nose. Then we'll draw two more right above it so it connects into his eyes. Then over here, let's repeat that same step. Okay, remember if I go too fast, Pause the video and then you can finish the step and then start it back up. Now this top one I'm gonna connect. Then on his eyebrows, let's create another wrinkle right here coming up to the middle of his forehead and the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna jump down here and work on his mouth. Let's draw his really sharp teeth. We're gonna draw a long curved V coming down and back up. And we want these to look really sharp and then we can repeat that same shape on the other side. Next, let's draw a curve that connects from one side over to the other. This is for his gums. And then we're gonna draw smaller sharp teeth on one side and then also on the other side. Then we're gonna draw four more teeth connecting in between these, So, and they're a lot smaller. So one, two, three, Four. Now we can draw the bottom of his mouth, his jaw down here. We're gonna draw a U with a flat bottom. So we're gonna come down 
and then we're going to draw that flat bottom maybe even come up a little bit and then connect back up to the top of his other cheek now let's draw those teeth down here on the bottom of his jaw we'll draw an a shape a curved upside down v and then we'll connect it with a curve down here now let's repeat that same shape on the right side curved a and then connect the bottom all right now we're going to draw four more smaller teeth in between these two there we go and then down here let's connect the bottoms with little u's the bottom of his teeth now let's draw his tongue we're going to draw a u that starts here comes down touches the top of his bottom teeth and back up now we're going to also draw a smaller U just below that, or right above that first one we did. Okay, now let's color in the top part. Make sure we leave his teeth white. Now I'm also going to color his gums down here on his jaw. Now we're going to draw the shape of his head. We're going to draw his cheeks and also his jaw. So right here, we're going to start by drawing a curve that comes down right next to his jaw or his cheeks and we're going to do the same thing on this side then we're going to come down to the sides of his mouth and then right here at the end let's curve out now we're going to start drawing some of the texture on his mane so we're going to draw zigzag lines and it's okay if your lines don't look exactly like mine in fact they ought to look different you guys can use your creativity and your imagination to make your lion's mane look amazing. Now let's draw his ears. We're gonna draw a shape, it comes out, it's like a U shape, and then back in. Then we're gonna draw that same ear over here on the right side. And we wanna just make sure that they're about the same size. Now we can draw the details inside of his ear. So we draw the top of his ear, and then we're gonna draw more zigzags for the fur inside and then we can do that same thing over here on the left side top line and then a zigzag for the fur inside of his ears next draw a line that curves around and connects to the bottom and then color in this shape all right now he's gonna look so much cooler once we draw the mane so let's start over here and we're going to draw a lot more zigzags that come around. We're going to start on his ear and we're going to connect down here to the bottom of his beard. So we'll start here. We'll draw some zigzags that are small, some that are really big. And you want to mix them up so that his fur looks natural and messy. Cool. Now let's do that same thing over here on the right side. And we just want to make sure that the general shape looks the same. Now let's draw his mane on the top in between his ears and the zigzags on this side are going to point off to the left. And then as we get to the top, we want to change and then point the zigzags to the right. Now let's draw the mane that's coming into his forehead. So on his ear here, we're going to draw some more zigzags that come down to the middle of his forehead and then switch the direction and come over and connect to his right ear. Now his mane looks really cool, but it's going to look even better once we add the texture inside. And we're going to do that by drawing S lines that start on the inside and then connect to the outside. Now we can draw some that also come in and connect to the other lines. And this part I'm gonna fast forward because I'm gonna repeat the same step, but we're gonna fill in his mane and create this really cool fur texture. All right, that looks really cool with all of that extra texture in his mane. Now I wanna make his mane a little bit bigger on the top. So we're gonna add another layer of zigzags behind this one or on top of this one and we're going to come around now i'm going to as i get towards the bottom i'm going to come in and end it 
I'm not going to go all the way down. So then we're going to change the direction of his mane on the top. Now remember, it's okay. Your mane probably doesn't look exactly like mine, and that's okay. I hope it looks different. Now I want this to come out even further, so I'm going to add one more. And you guys can add as many of these layers as you want, just to make your line look awesome. Now I'm going to go back through this layer and add more of these lines. I think the bigger the mane, the cooler he looks. All right, now we could leave him just like this. He looks really cool, but I think we should add a few more wrinkles and more details on his face to make him look even more angry. So let's start on his left eye, and we're going to create this shape right here under his eye that connects into the middle, and then we can color in that shape. Then over here, let's create a few wrinkles that come out, and then I'm going to draw another line that comes down and connects. Then I'm going to add a few more wrinkles on the side. There's this gap right here. I'm going to draw a line that connects up to his ear and then maybe also even connect it into his eyebrow. Now let's repeat all of those steps over here on this side. So we'll draw that line that connects to his nose. Then we can color in the middle part. Then let's draw those two wrinkles that comes out. And then that curve that comes up and connects to his cheek. And then this gap right here, we can come up and connect to his eye. And then right here, I'm, I'm going to finish this fur and make it look like it connects to his face. Now I know a lot of the details probably are different on your drawing. So just use your own creativity to finish your lion's face how you want. Now we can add two more of those wrinkles coming down on the side. I'm going to also create more wrinkles up here on his nose going right through his eyebrows. Let's add another wrinkle on inside of his nose, both sides. And I'm going to add some wrinkles down here on his cheek. And then maybe we can add some fur texture down here on his chin. I'm going to come up here and add another zigzag in front of his ears and maybe add a few more wrinkles right here on his eyebrows. Man, it seems like the more wrinkles we add, the cooler he looks. <laughs> I'm just going to add a few more just around his face, just for fun. And you guys can do the same thing. You can even pause the video to try and match what I'm doing. But I think that looks pretty cool. We should leave it just like that. I hope you guys took the time to add your own details and use your own creativity to change your drawings to make it look different. Now we still need to color our lines. He's going to look so much better once we add all the coloring and shading. This part I'm going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. It looks so much better colored in and with some shading. It looks 3D. It looks like it's going to pop right off of the page. I hope you're going to take some time to color and shade your drawings. Now this is actually really simple. I just used yellow to color in the first layer. I colored everything in. And then I used orange and brown to add the shading. And then pink and red for his tongue. And the white colored pencil I used to blend his cheeks and also his chin. And then the black colored pencil I used to thicken the lines and also add some darker areas. When you're all finished with this drawing, I hope you frame it because I'm sure it turned out super amazing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.
Hey you guys, if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. You can also click the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I've also picked out these other lessons I thought you'd enjoy. And one last thing, parents and teachers, be sure to share your child's finished drawing on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to see how awesome it turned out.